Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me in today's class. This practice is dedicated to a specific pose called Navasana, or the boat pose, which requires quite a bit of activation of the front body and especially the low abs. So the class is focused there today. In this progression, I will show you my favorite exercises that help me achieve Navasana in a bit of an easier way. So whenever you're ready, join me on the mat and let's begin together. Today we're going to start on all fours, so you can meet me there. We're going to have our hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Now here you want to feel two energies, one that pulls you back through your tailbone, one that pulls you forward through the crown of the head. Activate your core, so you want to feel a slight pull of the belly towards the low back. Once you're there, take a good breath in, feel long. And take a good breath out. Now on your next inhalation, arch your back and look forward. As you exhale, look down towards your belly for cat and cow pose. So here, because you are focusing a lot on the core, you want to really focus your attention there. Engage your abs and inhale, arch your back. Relax your belly. Exhale, again, activate your core around the spine. And two more times, inhale, arch your back. And exhale and round your spine. And this is going to be your last one. Inhale, arch your back. Nice warm up of the back. Exhale, round the spine. Very last time, really activating the core here. Now come back to your neutral position and we'll go a little bit deeper. So again, with that idea of being long in your back, you want to tuck your toes under and we're going to hover our knees off the floor. What? So hard. So feel a nice pull of your core in, your knees are hovering off the floor and we try to hold this position here without rounding the spine but keeping it long and we will stay here for five. Four, three, if you feel that shake, it's okay, two, and one, exhale, the knees slowly are coming back down on the floor, relax your toes and sit back for a quick child's pose. Relax the forehead down, take a good breath in, and take a good breath out. Re-engage your core, come back to your tabletop position. And this time we're gonna go a little bit deeper, so extend one foot behind you, one leg behind you, those are on the floor, and then the other leg joins there. So we're in a plank position. We wanna feel nice and solid here. Arms are strong, core is active, and we're gonna hold it here, maybe for 10 this time. Nine, eight, Try to breathe, seven, six, neck is long, five, four, stay strong, three, two, and one. Again, slowly relax your knees on the floor and sit back. Now you felt that good activation of your core, that's what we are going to have also in uh, Navasana, the both pose that we're going to enter very soon. So relax the forehead down for a moment, take a good breath in, and exhale deeply. Whenever you're ready, roll the spine up. And we're going to swing the legs forward, coming to a good seated position. Let's bend our knees. We're going to sit nice and tall, holding on to the back of the legs. Grow tall, and again here you want to feel that Duality, that dual energy, one pulling you down into the earth, one pulling you up. So the back is long. Now, if you are very tall here, almost leaning forward, you will feel that the back muscles are the most active in this position. Instead, in Navasana, there's more activation of the front body. So lean back, roll back on your seat bones until you feel that good activation of your core, especially the lower part of your abdomen. Then once you're there, 
Grow even taller. Breathe here. Exhale. If this is easy enough for you, then maybe you can go a little further. You can reach your arms forward and hold it here for five, four, three. Try to lift the heels off the floor, maybe pointing your toes. Two, and one. Exhale. Heels are coming back down, and we're rolling down on the mat. One vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Make your way there. Go as low as possible, feeling each single vertebra rolling down. Fantastic. Once you get there, bring the hands in the floor. Take a good breath in, feeling the back nice and long. And bring your knees towards your chest. Exhale. Inhale, stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. Activate the core and exhale, lower the legs down towards the floor, nice and straight. Will you go nice and slow? Keep the core active until the very end, then bring the knees in. Extend the legs up. Lower the legs down, exhale. Stay strong. Try not to lift the low back, but keep it pressed down into the mat. Then bring the knees in. We go for two more. Stretch the legs up. Good inhalation here. And exhale down. Nice and easy. Stay strong. Use your hands for extra support if you need to. Then bring the knees in. This is going to be the last one. Make it count. Stretch the legs up. And let's go extra slow this time, really feeling that activation of our core. Exhale, lower down, nice and slow for five, four, three. Stay strong in your belly, two, and one. Beautiful, bring the knees in, hold on to the back of your legs. Once you get there, just to relax, take a couple of rocks side to side. Great, come back to center. And let's uh, rock forward and back this time. Really feeling that good massage in the back. And still that same activation of your belly. And keep rocking for five, four, Three, maybe try to balance on your sit bones a little more. And two, let's see if we can hold it here a little longer, maybe let go of your hands. And this is the last one. Nice and playful version of this Navasana. One, exhale. Release your hands, maybe extend them forward. If this is too intense for you, you can bring the toes on the floor. If that's good enough for you, then you can stay lifted. And we're gonna stay here. Again, feel the back long. You're almost reaching towards the back of the room. We're gonna stay nice and strong. Legs are squeezing together. One more breath in and out. Wonderful, release the feet on the floor. And slowly, very, very slow, we we'll roll down one vertebrae at a time. Move as slow as you can. Great, create some resistance in your body. And exhale, release down, release your hands. Take a quick moment here. One deep breath in. And one deep breath out. Same way as we came down, we're gonna reverse it and come all the way up. This time without rocking, that's a, a bit of an easier action sometimes. So this time we really activate our belly. So reach the arms forward towards your knees, tuck the chin into your chest, start lifting up. Nice and strong, let's go. Use the core, just the core. Great, once you get there, release the hands down, extend the legs for a moment. 
and we are going to release all our energy forward. Relax the head down. Allow the spine to just round. Relax the head. Take a good breath. And exhale. Now, our core has done quite a bit of work today, so we're going to try to enter the, the actual full version of Navasana. So roll your spine up, bend your knees, and set up your foundation. So you want to roll on the back of your seat bones. You want to feel the back nice and long. We're going to hold on to the back of our legs. Now slowly bring the knees together, feet together. Let's start by lifting one foot up. She is uh, parallel to the ground. Breathe here. And if you can, inhale and lift also the other leg up. And breathe here. If everything's okay in this position and you feel your core nice and active, then let go. And stay. To take it further, you can try to stretch the legs up. And here we are, final version of Navasana. If you feel that shake, it's okay. We're gonna hold it for five, four, stay tall, three, two, and one. Slowly bend your knees, come back down. And there you have it. You can repeat this a few more times if you wish. But that is your final version of Navasana. And just for fun, we're gonna try it one more time. Let's see how it goes. So again, hold on to the back of your legs. Grow nice and tall, lean back. Then we're going to keep the nice length in our back. Feel the activation of your belly. Start lifting maybe the other leg up first. Then the left leg will reach. Hold it, or extend your arms forward, shoulders down, neck is long, and here we go. You can hold it here, or you can lift your legs up, and we're going to stay for five, four, three, two, almost got it, and one. Exhale, cross your legs, and come back to your seated position. Wonderful, and there you have it. This is Navasana, the boat pose. A lot of activation in the core, activation also in the legs. If you found it pretty hard, that's totally okay. It's part of the journey. Keep coming back to this video, keep working on your core, and I can promise you this position will get a little bit easier over time. Thank you again for practicing with me today. If you have any question, obviously comment down below or send me a message and I will see you next time.